Hi guys, it's Andy. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm gonna dye my hair again. So tomorrow, I have a recording with my K-pop dance cover group with Dancing to It Is Wannabe, and I play Real Jane, who has this dark blue hair on the music video. And as I didn't find the exact shade of blue she has, I just thought, why don't making it with another hair dye? mixing it with white conditioner. It doesn't matter what conditioner it is, the important thing is for it to be white. So I'm gonna mix the conditioner with this hair dye that's Arctic Fox Transylvania. And yeah, let's see how it works. So I've used a little tiny bit of this to put it in my regular hair mask, because as you can see, my hair is platinum right now well it's a little bit gray I don't know I just used it because it has a blue undertone so the blue purple kills the yellow of the hair so I just used a few drops of this and I put it on my conditioner but I say hair dye itself I haven't tried it so you're gonna see my reaction after I put this on and the good thing this hair dye has apart from how it works it's that it's vegan and cruelty free and I think it's the 15% of the profit that goes to animal shelters. So if you really want to help animals and you want to dye your hair while doing it, you can use these hair dyes. So if you see my head cut like this, it's because I couldn't find a higher location to put the tripod and the other tripod I have, it's too big for what I need it right now. So yeah, pity. Every single time I've seen someone use any of these hair dyes, like any color, they say it smells really good, so I'm just gonna smell it and see if they're right. Oh, it does smell well. It's kind of like bubblegum, but raspberry bubblegum? I don't know. Oh, it smells good. Yep, people on the internet were right for one time, so... I'm just gonna add a little bit. I'm not gonna really measure it, but I have to shake it first. But I'm not really gonna measure it because I don't know. I'm just gonna do it by eye. So let's add a tiny bit. And now let's mix it with base. So. Yeah, now I'm just gonna be a chemistry teacher or something, I don't know. I'm just gonna try and do weird things, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Let's try this. this and then add the dye because I just have a really small amount I don't know if you can see but this is just the bottom of the bowl so yeah I think I'm gonna do that okay so the whole point of using a white conditioner it's because I want to make the shade lighter because it's black but it has a blue on the tone and that's why it's turning out like this so if I mix this with a I don't know maybe a yellow hair mask or conditioner it would turn out green and we don't want it to be green we want it to be blue so yeah if you want to make a pastel shade or just make a color lighter just use white because white means no color and it's not gonna create a different mixture it's just gonna make the color lighter and that's what we're looking for okay so something i've learned from watching arctic fox videos and christian lian's videos is that if you really want to see the shade you're gonna try on you can just put a little bit on a white paper and yeah this is how it looks like right now so I'm just gonna make it darker because I want it to be really dark 
but still look blue i don't know if that makes sense because this is black but yeah i'm just gonna try and do that I'm just gonna fill the whole bowl with the mixture because I really need to saturate the hair because as I said it's really thin and the cuticle is very open so I really have to saturate it for the color to really stay there to really sink in so I think I'm just I have half of the bowl now so I think I'm just gonna make the whole of it so i'm just gonna keep adding i think i'm just gonna use all of this because there's not that much left yeah i'm just gonna use it all and oh <laughs> and then just add the amount of color i need to create oh <laughs> it's just squirting everywhere so yeah, now I'm just gonna add as much color as I want and I hope it turns out well. This is the final swatch I'm gonna use. Um, it's a little bit more grey in person. I just hope it's not that grey on my hair. But yeah, I don't want to add more black because I don't want it to be that black or that gray or that navy. And maybe I should have added a little bit less. But if I dye it darker, then when I wash it off, it's going to look lighter. So yeah, I prefer it to be a little bit darker and then just wash it and fade it with a wash. And yeah, I've put my gloves on because we don't want to stay our hands while applying a hair dye, especially on this dark and pigmented. Um, I'm using the other hairbrush because the first I was using the pink. Um, I used it to apply the hair dye on the paper, so I had to wash it and it's wet. And even though I dry it with the towel or whatever, it's still gonna be wet. And that's not good for applying a hair dye and yeah another thing is that if you want to apply one of these hair dyes that's the fantasy hair dyes that are based on conditioner you gotta have your hair really clean just i just washed it i just took a shower and i didn't even blow dry it i just blow dry it on the top because it was still a little bit wet but yeah it has to be dry it has to be clean because if not, the hair dye it's not gonna stick as well. If you use a oxidating hair dye like the regular ones you put on the salon, um, you gotta have your hair as dirty as possible because the oils protect your hair from the damage. But in this case, it's conditioner, it's not bad for your hair, so you gotta have it really clean, washed and dry. So yeah. Let's get started and see how this looks afterwards. I'm really scared. There's no turning back now. Okay, so at school I've been taught that we should apply the hair dye first on the roots doing a different partition so first the front line then the middle then we do one here and another one here we do the roots all the roots and then we do the rest of the hair so i just did my front line and the middle line i'm not doing the back yet because i can see and what I'm interested in dyeing is this part, so I'm just gonna do the gradient, but in the parts that really show, so it's the front light and the middle line. So now I'm just gonna go a while and apply it all over the white part, 
and then I'll just do the roots regularly taking each section so for example if I take this section I'm just gonna dive all this and then the next section I'm gonna do the roots and the white part equally so yeah I'm not doing it as a paint talk but I'm doing it as I think it's gonna look better and it's gonna stay a longer on the hair because this part it's the one you see on the front so yeah I want this part to be good and I don't really mind if the bag it's not that good but yeah I'm just gonna try and make it all even uh, yeah why you gotta use a shirt you don't mind staining. I didn't realize my camera died so I'm basically done with this and I'm gonna leave it on for maybe one or two hours because the good thing about these dyes is that you can leave them on for as long as you want because they're not gonna damage your hair so I'm just gonna put on a plastic bag so I um, don't stain anything else because during the process I stained all the sink in blue and my mom's gonna kill me so Meanwhile, I'm gonna clean all this, I'm gonna prepare my fake nails for tomorrow and um, maybe I'm gonna recreate Ruudin's makeup because if not tomorrow I'm just gonna spend three hours doing it so if I manage to do it now, tomorrow I'm just gonna be quicker doing it so yeah, I'm gonna do all those things and see you guys when I wash my hair Okay, so I don't know what happened but it's purple <laughs> so as you can see this part it's blue it's exactly the blue I wanted but here I don't know why I don't know it's because of the shampoo which I don't think so but I don't know maybe there was just purple undertones or I don't know but down here it's blue this is the blue I wanted that it almost doesn't look like blue, but, you know, if you see Ryujin's pictures, this is the color, but it turned out purple on the ends. Well, half an ends. I don't know what happened, but I love it. <laughs> so yeah, this is how I'm gonna look tomorrow in the recording. I also tried to do the makeup with a thick line, because I don't know why I always end up doing thick lines when I want to do thin ones, but yeah, this is how it looks. So, my review on Arctic Fox Transylvania is that it looks amazing, diluted. Probably I'll try and apply it maybe down here just to see how it looks on bright black. Pitch black, I don't know how to say it, just black. But yeah, diluted, it looks amazing, and yeah, I don't know what happened here, but I like it anyway, so 10 out of 10. So this is gonna be quite a short video, cause my camera died, or well, it actually ran out of space, so I couldn't record all the process. But yeah, you could see how this turned out. And even though it didn't turn out as I expected because of this purple, here it really did, so I'm quite happy with that. And yeah, I'm quite nervous for tomorrow. Well, you might be seeing this on the day I'm recording, which is Sunday, because I'm trying to upload on Sundays. But yeah, I'm recording this um, like... 22 hours before posting because I want to post at 9 so well 9 p.m. and now it's half past 10 p.m. I'm a disaster
Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you liked the video, even though it's been kind of messy. But yeah, I'll just try and do more fun, interactive videos. I don't know. I'll just try and do better because I just started this. And I don't know. I'm just having fun. But I also want to do things you guys like. So just slip suggestions in the comments and say whatever you want. Because I'll probably do whatever you say because I'm running out of ideas. And I know this is my third video, but yeah, I'm just a mess. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you liked it. Like this video, share it, subscribe. You already know what to do. And see you guys in the next one. Bye.